Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday. Yeah. Nice, relaxing day. Hopefully, all of you have been sleeping in and enjoying the day and probably are going to start on your chores anytime. But most of you probably see this after all of that. But I'm thinking of you as, as you start on your chores. And my family's all gathering today um, for celebrations of various sorts, <laughs> some of which I can't mention because they're secret um, at the moment uh, because of a person. But anyway. Um, so we're continuing to read through uh, the account of, of Ahab and Jehoshaphat and, and we were looking at how just wonderful Jehoshaphat was, was yesterday and uh, like a breath of fresh air really at that time. And, and we mentioned that Jehoshaphat uh, has, had really one big weakness and that was his desire to see uh, the kingdoms united. And uh, we can have a desire that goes against the will of our Father. And, and it may seem like a really good idea at the time, but if, if it goes against what Father wants, then it's not a good idea. And so here we have Jeho Jehoshaphat, who has such a desire for this to happen, that he marries into King Ahab's family. Now, you've got to remember that the King Ahab is the worst king that Israel ever had. Uh, the most wicked uh, king that Israel ever had and that's saying something um, on top of that uh, we have to remember that Jehoshaphat is is rich <laughs> he's healthy uh, he's secure uh, he's successful all the kingdoms around him are, are afraid of him and uh, and yet he makes allegiances with uh, the Lord's enemy here and and on top of it, his, 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 his desire is so great that even when a prophet speaks up and says that their plans are not good, that it's going to end in disaster, Jehoshaphat still sticks to what he wants instead of what the Lord wants. Man, that should be a huge warning uh, to us right there. Just stop and, and take mental note that um, it, it, it's... I mean, the, the word talks about it's, it's, it's better to be righteous and poor uh, than, than, than to be rich and uh, wicked. And it, it is, you can't say that Jehoshaphat was poor, but it, it's better to live in a divided land and, and, and walk in righteousness than to have unity and wickedness. That, that's a proverb that we could apply to Je Jehoshaphat there. And we need to, we need that, we need that have discernment and wisdom in these things that we would discern what the father's will is in things and not just look at it and say hey this looks good it must be father's will but but to check on these things i mean when it comes to somebody's salvation we know that's his will when it comes to, to somebody being healed we know that's his will but many of the plans that we lay down are not necessarily what he wants and and so it's something that, that we really need to spend time in, in seeking and, and make sure. And when we hear his word and it's contrary to what we want, contrary to, to our will, um, we've got to be able to let it go. And that's, that's not always an easy thing, uh, to be willing to let go uh, of what we want, uh, to live in what, what Father wants. So there you go. Now, you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I am looking forward to the time we get to spend together uh, tomorrow. God bless.